welcome to angular this is what we have given in our template app component template i'll give a br and i'll say input type equals to text i'll make it in double quotation so that i can have a single quotation over here value equals to mtt double quotation save this i have saved it and let us see this you got a text box fine are you all with me but don't you think writing our html code in template is very hectic task then what is the solution for this let us see the solution in our next slide components template url now because what we have seen it is quite difficult for us to write our html in template so we will write our html in separate html file and we will give that file url in template url this way instead of template now i'll say template url and name of the file is app.component.html these are the coding standards for app.component.ts the view part is app.component.html so we are going to add app.component.html file and in our html file i am going to write my html content and your index we are not we are not changing index it will remain same then you get the content as i am coming from html file what is template url component template url template it is an html file rendering the component so this is template same like view what we have seen in mvc we were returning string then we return view and view result so in the same way earlier we were writing text here directly html content now we are writing the link for html file and we are writing our html content in html file this is template and this is template url it is the location of that html file this is template this is template this is template url it is very simple nothing complex let's implement this view solution explorer i'm going to add a new item this time i'm going to add html file and name of the html file is app.component.html and here i'm going to write h1 i am coming from template and you write your form here now you can have your form tag whatever you want you can have over here input type equals to text value equals to nothing and input type equals to button then value equals to click me so whatever you want you can write and we'll go to app dot components and instead of template i will use template url and template url is dot slash app dot component dot html app dot component dot html i'll say save it is still up and running it is compiling we added a new file let us see whether it is reflecting or not 
I am coming from template. It is working perfect. So your app folder has got app dot component, app dot module, app dot component dot html. We are not touching index and we are not touching app hyphen root. We are leaving it as is. We are just looking into app component dot html app component dot ts app component dot so in 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 simple words you can assume that this is your controller and this is your view is it not looking like that your application starts from here controller and we are rendering this view similar to your mvc anyway let us move ahead Understanding the basic terminologies. Today's session was all about introduction to Angular 8. Now we are understanding the basic terminologies. I hope you understood what is Angular CLI. Angular CLI stands for Command Line Interface Tool to initialize application, develop, scaffold, maintain Angular application. We have seen initialize. We were building, we were running, all those things we were doing with Angular CLI. And we initially installed Angular CLI Global. Next. Components, basic building blocks of an UI in an Angular. It is an element. App module, an Angular main module class describes how the application parts fit together. In our app dot module, we have browser module. It provides the services that are essential to launch and run our browser app. So it because of browser modules, we are able to run our application in our browsers. If you want to test, you remove browser module and see whether it works or not. You do all those testings. ng module describes how to compile a component template. That is the job of your ng module. It will combine all the modules that we have. It has declaration. So where you have app components, imports, we are using browser module. It has bootstrap. That your, it starts from app component. It has a lot more things. So we will see all those things in our future. It has services, the water services, and so whenever it is essential, we will implement or use all those things. So, do anybody have any kind of doubt in this basic terminology? So, see throughout our course now, I'll be saying, I'm going to add a module. I'm going to add a component. And I'm going to add that component in the app module declarations and I'm going to import one more module HTTP module because I want to work with forms. I want to include one more module because I want to work with paging. I want to include one more module. So when I use these terminologies, you should be in a position to understand what is that I'm doing. I'll say add, I'll add one more new component. So you should not have, you know, confusion now or you should not. Uh, it should not be you should not be a layman in this field of angular you know you are not not understanding the terminologies so these are the basic terminologies that we are going to use throughout our course and project of angular one question mark i want to remove from your mind this is like a controller and whatever you have from web api it will come into this controller it will come into this controller say where name or how do we declare a string name colon string this is how we do right and its value is mtt have you all done your typescript this is how we do this is the name and this value we got from our API and I want to display it in our HTML. I want to display it over here. I am coming from template. What is the variable name? Variable name itself is name and I want to display here. So I'll just use flower bracket, flower bracket, name, flower bracket, flower bracket interpolated string now in place of name it will display mtt is it displaying 
can we have more than one app.module.ts file? No, you cannot have. App.module.ts will be one and only one file. Because it is a place to combine all the things. It is a register where you will have uh, uh, in your class you have n number of students. All students need to register. So register will have all student names and everything. You can have n number of students in a club, but there will be only one register. Nice analogy. So that's it for today. Thank you very much.